This will be a quick video talking about something what is known as cascading combo box that you might have seen in the title. All it simply means is that um, on a form, when you select a country, say for example, I choose country USA, then I only see the state or the province of USA, or when I choose Canada, I only see that. And then when I choose a state uh, for a country, then when I look at the city, I only see the names of the city. So you can apply this to in many different scenarios, like somebody asked me a question about, um, I think they're having winter and summer tires, so when they choose winter, they only want to see the winter tire numbers, and then if you wanted to, you could keep doing that. So for that, I thought that the example of the city and the country would be pretty good. And you can apply this to any of your existing database because this information could be standing on its own. And you'll understand it as I go through it. So that's the purpose of this video. Now, there are many different ways of doing this. And I've just did a research and I found this to be easy as we don't have to do too many visual basic codes. So uh, I'm just going to go to the database tools and relationship window just to show you. So what I've done is I created these three tables. One table for country in which I only put a field called country which is the primary key. Another one called table state in which I'm trying to type the names of the state and then also choose the country in there. And then another one for city in which I have city and just the state. Okay. And I'm just going to close this. So just to show you in the country, I only type two right now, but I can keep on adding more. And then in the state, I typed some provinces or state in Canada and USA. I just put the abbreviation. You could even put it the whole thing and also the country. And then in the city, I've just added the name of the city and which province or state they are in respectively. Okay. So I've got these three things and I've also created the relationship uh, between them, which, which uh, if you remember from, I did the lookup wizard and then I just did the connection through that, so that you may remember from the previous videos. And then what I did is, I'm just going to right click on this table customer and design view. So then I say I wanted to type the customer's ID. Now in this, I was going to get the information about the address, city, state, and the country, and all of that information. So now I'll create a form for this, and then I'll get that form to pull up the information from these tables. Even though they are separate because I haven't connected any of these fields to these tables because they don't need to be connected for our example because I just need to pull the information from these places. So when you go and add more information, it will be visible to me when I'm doing that in the form. So I'm going to close this now and I'm going to go to create. Now instead of using the form wizard or from the more form form wizard in 2007, I'm just going to go to form design because this way I'll have more control over it and I'm going to choose add existing fields so I click it and I'm going to choose show all tables and I'm going to choose the plus sign next to the table customer and I'll take the customer ID and I'll just drop it up here then I'll take first name and I'll drop it here last name and I can drop it here and remember, you can resize. Now, when you do the form in this way, you have more control over each and every field, and you don't have to do anything. When you do it through design view, all the fields are grouped together, but you could always fix the problem by right-clicking on it, and then you go to the option called Layout, and then you choose to remove the layout so that that field will not be attached to the other fields. So if you've done the form wizard, you can do this. And then I'll add the address. And I'll extend the address because we need more space for the address if you need it. And then I'll, then the other ones I will not add now um, because I'm going to do it differently because I want to create a combo box for the country, state, and city and connect that combo box to these tables. Okay, but instead of doing it to the tables for the state and city, I'm going to create a query. And I'll explain that to that to you in 
few minutes as I go through the process. So I'm just going to add the country because I don't need to do any query for the country. But instead of adding the country field, I'm going to choose this button here, which is called the combo box. Click it and I'm going to left click and hold it and drag it here, whatever space you want. And I'm going to choose the option that says I want the combo box to get the value from another table, which I do have it in the table. So I'm going to click next and I'm going to choose table country next, add the country field next, next, next. And now I want to store the value because I want the table customer to have this value. And for that, I have the field called country. Now, for some reason, I found that it doesn't show up here. It should have. So what I'll do is I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to add the country here. And I'll delete that. And I'll also add the state and the city so that I will get that in that list. I don't know why. I thought this should have shown up. Now, when I go back to the combo box and I drag it. And then I'll say I want the combo box to get the value from a table. Next, choose country next add the field next 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 and then I'll say store the value in country now you see it showed up I don't know why it didn't show up earlier and this will be stored in the table customer when I choose these things next and then you can give it any names or up here I'll just type the word country because the label should show up here and I'll click finish so that is done and before I go ahead, I'm going to right click on it and go to properties or I can click on this property sheet and I'll go to other and the name. I want to give this box a name because I need to use it. So I'll just call it CBO country because this is box is the combo country box. So you can give it any name. Just make sure you give it a, a name that you can recognize easily and I can close this. So this is done and now when I come to I save my form and I'll just call it form customer and I'll come to the front end. So here I have my drop down button. Okay, So that part is done. Now for the city and the state I need to create a query. So I'm going to go to create and I'm going to go to query wizard simple query and first I'll do it for the state. I'll add the state and the country. Next, I'll give it a field query state. And then I'll just modify, click finish. Now, later on, we're going to just in a few minutes, we're going to put something here. So I'm just going to leave that there. And I will think I'll close it because I'll need to do it for the combo. Create query wizard, simple query. And this time I want to use the table city. Add city and the state next, and I'll give it a name query city. And even if I just keep it open and finish it, it will just show me all the cities, which is fine for now. I'll close this now for the form from the home. I'll come back to the design view if you wanted to, and then I'll go to combo box. Now I'm going to add the combo box for the state. I'll add the box here. Again, I want to get the combo box from another table or query because in this case, I wanted to look at the query. I'll click next, choose queries here, query state, next. And I only need the state from here, so I'll just choose that. Next, next. And it's going to show me all of them right now, US and Canada. Next. And I want to store the value in the state of the table customer next and then up here I'll just say state and I'll click finish because that state word will show up here now I'll make sure I'll click on this go to property sheet and change the name to CBO state now make sure you are type you know how you are typing it uppercase and because it is, these are case sensitive I'll close this too now now I'll do the last combo box for the city drag it drop it I want the combo box from a query. Next, choose query, query city. Next, I only want the city. Next, next, next. And here I'm going to store it in the city. 
finish go to the property sheet change the word give it a meaningful name to it because we're going to use it now the next step I'm going to do it I had talked about it I think in the sixth or the seventh video where I showed you how when you have a, a word in a form you can make that form to look up the values in the query and that's what I'm going to show you now that when somebody goes here and chooses country Canada up here in the state it should only show the Canadian states or the province so I'm going to right click on the query state and go to the design view and in the country I'm going to type something so maybe you'll remember this so what I'm going to type is forms and in 2010 and 13 this will come up I think in 2007 it doesn't so what you'll have to do is you'll have to put the bracket forms and the bracket so you'll have to put this manually in 2010 and 13 you won't need to I put an exclamation point and then after that I need to choose the name of the form which is form customer so I'll just choose it for me in 2007 you'll have to type it exclamation now I need to look up the field CBO country because that's the name I gave to this field so that's what it says CBO country now if here if I go and choose USA and I'll run the query you see I only see USA I'll come back to design view and I change this to Canada come back to the query state run it now I only see Canada so this is what this is doing here is that look in the form form customer and in that field so this is good I can save it and I can close this now I'll right click on the query city go to design view and in the state I'm gonna say look at the forms with the brackets and exclamation in the form customer exclamation and look for the field CBO state so that whatever is in the state it will only show me that state and I can save it and I'll close it so here I've chosen Canada so I only see the Canadian state and I say choose Ontario now in the city I will only see the Ontario states which is Toronto and Niagara now the only problem is that when I go back and I start choosing USA it's still showing me the Canadian states not the US because I need to tell it to do one simple thing this could be fixed manually by hitting the refresh button but then why bother when something can be done so I'm gonna to come to the design view of the form and I will click on the <clears throat> anyone I can even click on the country and I'm gonna to go to the property sheet and in the event there is an after update and I will start the dots and I'll go to the code builder and I click OK now this is something I was like initially confused because I need to now tell it that after every time any of those values changes make sure you do a requery so all I have to type is me dot and then I need to type the names of the other fields so CBO city dot requery so anytime the city is changed make sure you requery on the top two and I'll do the same thing with CBO state requery save it and I'll close this now I'll go to the next the state I'll again in the after update I'll click the dot code builder now I've got the CBO state and up here I'll type uh, me dot CBO country dot requery and I'll do the other one for the CBO city dot requery and I'll save it and I'll close this now I'll click in the city and I'll again go to the after update choose that code builder click OK and up here too I can put both of them you might get away with not typing all of them but I found that it didn't work initially so CBO state 
and also one for CBO country. So this is just telling it that go back and check again to get the new values. I'll hit save and I'll close this. Now let's see, you know up here if you, this was a form, I can also add a title so that you can have the heading on the top. Okay, and I'll come to the form view. Now let's see, so if I, I'm just going to go back to Canada, I see the Canadian, change this to USA, now there it is, Georgia, Texas, and if I choose Georgia, I should get Atlanta and Macon, which are cities in Georgia. If I change Georgia to New York, I should get New York and Buffalo. And if I change it to Texas, I get Dallas and Houston. So let's see now if I change this back to Canada, I get Ontario, Ontario, Toronto and Niagara. Change the Ontario to Alberta. There it is, Calgary. Now whatever information I enter here, will show up in the table and I'm just going to go next and this might be USA, California, Hollywood. Okay, so I've just entered two and the, ignored the numbers because I deleted some records and I'll close it. Now if I double click on the table customer, there will see two records I just entered. So this is what is known as cascading combo, and this is updating itself. So you can use it in many different scenarios. If you wanted to learn more, just do a Google search with those wordings, and you'll find lots of information. There is a lot of visual basic codes also you can write to make this possible, but I feel this is the easiest way I could think of. Thanks for watching.